Open Heavens on the Go Tuesday, August 6th, 2024 Topic Be a Blessing Memory Verse Proverbs 11.25 The Libra soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. Bible reading, Deuteronomy 15, 7-11 If there be among you a poor man of one of thy brethren within any of thy gates in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thy heart, nor shut thine hand from thy poor brother. But thou shalt open thy hand wide unto him, and shall surely lend him sufficient for his need in that which he wanteth. Beware that there be, there be not a thought in thy wicked heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release, is at hand. And thine eye be evil against thy poor brother, and thou givest him not. And he cry unto the Lord against thee, and it be seen unto thee. Thou shalt surely give him, and thine heart shall not be grieved when thou givest unto him, because that for this thing the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thy works and in all that thou puttest thy hand unto. For the poor shall never cease out of the land. Therefore, I command thee, saying, Thou shalt open thy hand wide unto thy brother, to thy poor, and to thy needy in thy land. The Message To live a blessed and fulfilled life, you must be a blessing to others. A stream is clean, because the water keeps flowing, but stagnant water stinks because it retains whatever it has to itself. If you only look for what to eat, you will likely get enough to survive on, even though you might sometimes have to, sp to skip some meals. However, if you constantly seek to feed many people, your meals will never be a problem because you cannot feed many people while you are hungry. If you seek to buy cars for others, you will have a car to drive yourself. The more people you desire to be a blessing to, the more resources will come your way and the more blessed you will be. It may seem worldly wise, to be selfish, but the word of God says that when you scatter, you will increase. Proverbs 11, 24 to 26. Students who teach their peers after classes may appear to be very generous, and that is true, but do you know that they understand the subject matter as they teach it to others? Such students may be helping their peers, but really, they are helping themselves more. When you tell your friends and family about Jesus seeking to save their souls, it is out of love because you don't want them to burn in hell. However, the more you preach the gospel, the more grounded you will become in Christ. Firstly, you will see miracles happen. Mark 16, 15 to 18. And this will make your faith even more real to you. Secondly, the Holy Spirit will inspire you on what to say when you preach. Believe me, some of the things I say on the altar are new to me. These revelations, because they came through me, have a better routine in me than in anyone else. Thirdly, a fellow who preaches the gospel 
and makes disciples has one more reason not to backslide, no matter how tough the temptations get, because he wouldn't want the, the, the disciples to see him backsliding. Being the general overseer of the RCCG is a sacrificial role that God gave to me, but it has also helped me stand stronger in the faith. Since the early days, I have become my own watchdog not to backslide. If people often call you to pray for them, you cannot be prayerless because you will have to pray for them. Beloved, you will be blessed much more if you choose to be a blessing to others. Action Point Be intentional about being a blessing to everyone around you. Bible reading in one year, Jeremiah 12 to 14. Him for today, there shall be showers of blessing. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.